Hey guys, Jacob Howard here, and today I wanted to look at some of the updated settings that DJI released on their DJI Virtual Flight app that shows you how the rate tunes look for the controller and how you can adjust them for smoother flight. So let's jump into the app on the phone. I've connected my goggles with the controller to the phone so that we can see it in real time how it interacts with the remote controller. So you can see how the rate tunes look for the DJI FPV drone. This is the first chance we've actually gotten to see how it actually looks in there. Uh, we've been just going off of like how it feels, but now we can actually see how it changes the curves and stuff like that. So let's jump into that and see how it looks. So first off, like I said, I, I'm all connected. I'm gonna tap up here on the top right on the settings icon. We're gonna go over to custom settings and we're gonna go over to RCXP or Expo for M mode. So this is where we can go in and we can see how the rates preview. So right now you can see it has yaw for blue, roll for red, and pitch for green. Um, and then on the left, and then for yaw, we have center sensitivity, max rate, and expo. Um, we've gone over these before, what they exactly mean. Now, first thing, since I've already messed with this a little bit, I'm just going to reset to default. And I'm actually going to go back to beginner because this is where it's going to start for you. So when you come into the screen, you can see first off, you can't really do anything. It doesn't let you change anything. So you need to actually go into beginner and then click custom, and then it'll allow you to change these things. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is let's just mess with these settings a little bit so you guys can see what they do. So center sensitivity, we can move this, and you can see how that's going to change everything. Now notice we are in the yaw. See how we're in yaw right now? But as we move this, you can see pitch is changing as well. So that's something to be mindful of. As you change some of these settings, they aren't always gonna change just one setting. This is something that people got on me with one of my last videos. They're like, well, you never changed this setting, so how did you do that? Well, they affect each other. So that's one thing you can prove it right here. Center sensitivity is changing these things. You can see they're all changing because I'm changing these numbers. So max rate, I changed that and changing the pitch as well. Um, and I'm sure it's changing the roll if we actually like set roll off here. Let's see how these change. See, it's changing the roll as well. So changing one setting does change all of them. So you need to be mindful of that. And it's handy that they do a little rates preview so you can see. Um, center sensitivity, but let's see what it does. So if I have it all the way down, the center sensitivity is very low. So as I move the stick, you know, right or left, let's actually see if it does anything. So another little fun thing I just figured out is the controller actually can control this little mouse here. So I'll try to use that to illustrate my point. Uh, but see, if we turn sensor sensitivity all the way down, we can see as we move, it's going to stay along this very fine line. It's not gonna be doing a whole lot until it gets a little later on, and then it's gonna be doing these things right here. But if we turn it up, we can see as we move, so whenever we give it stick input, it's going to move along this line right here. So that's what the sensor sensitivity does. It's going to change how uh, your stick movements react along that center line when you move it from the center off. So this is something that um, I usually recommend just giving like a little like 300 or something like that. Um, that way it's a little bit nicer of a curve, uh, but it's nothing like dramatic. It's not this to where you have to move a ton to even get anywhere with it. 300 is pretty good. Uh, for max rate, that's going to control how quickly your drone moves in any direction per second. They still haven't totally released this information, but from what I've seen, it, it is based off of degrees per second. So right now for max rate on yaw, it's 623. So that means it'll be doing 623 degrees per second if I give it full inflection. So if I put that stick all the way to the right, it's going to turn it 630 degrees per second to get that. So this is something, obviously, if you turn it way up, that's just going to be super, super crazy fast. So it's just going to move like crazy. Um, it's going to spin really fast. So if you want a little smoother of flight, you're going to want this a little bit lower. Um, I usually recommend around that 400 range as well. So Expo, you can see how this is going to change things. I'm actually going to make these things a little bit more dramatic. Okay, so I changed a few of the settings so you can see this curve line a little bit better. So if I bring Expo down, you can see it's straightening it out. It's giving a little bit smoother of a move on this curve right here. And then as I bring it up, it's flattening it out. So making it uh, making it smoother on the center sensitivity. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's always it's gonna fly smoother because once you get to this area right here, let me see if I can move this mouse up here. So once you get to this area around here, it's going to then start reacting exponentially to your input. This was another thing that people kind of got touchy with because they said, I said it was smoother with the Expo further down, but in reality, it kind of is. So that's why I had the sens center sensitivity in the other settings where I set them for my other rate tune video, um, because 
this is actually technically smoother because it's not it's not near as direct once you get to a certain point. So that's that's really where it can kind of come into different uh, perspectives. Do you want it just the center sensitivity to be smooth and it's going to just take forever to make a move, or do you want something that's a little more uh, linear and something that's a little more you, you know you can plan for it? It's not going to just go from 50 to 100 in one little move, and it took you know this much of a move to go from zero to 50. So that's kind of the whole point there. Um, now if we go into these other settings. It's going to be the same deal. Uh, these are all going to respond the same way. Yaw, roll, and pitch. Um, I do have uh, several videos on how to set rate tunes and stuff like that. So I would definitely check this out. Link in the description. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, we actually have a DJI FPV course where we have more videos on rate tunes and how to set up the DJI FPV drone. And there's a link down below for that as well. So this gave us a good idea of how these rate tunes look for the DJI FPV drone. For the most part, this rate tune looks very similar to what you would see like on beta flight uh, but really these do come down to preferences so how you want to set them is up to your preference but understanding what these do is really important so now i'm really glad they threw in this visual because it does help you as you're trying to change the settings and stuff like that now a big question people are going to have if you change the rate tune in the goggles for the drone is it changing it for the flight controllers and it's going to transfer over to the dji virtual flight app and vice versa if you change it in here is it going to change it for the controller for the drone and the answer is no it doesn't change anything so if you change it on the app it only works on the app for the controller if you change it on the drone it only works for the drone when it's connected to the controller so you have to change settings for each one when you want to do that if you guys found this video helpful please like and subscribe and if you're actually interested in learning more about the dji fpv drone and how you can fly it and set it up and everything i have an online course dji fpv drone unlocked course you can click the link below to get a special deal on that that we're running right now half off where you can learn a ton more about this drone and really get started flying fpv thanks for tuning in and if you guys have any questions definitely let me know and have fun flying.